Okay, so this is the hotel room. When you come in, this is the front door. There's the bed, which is really nice. It looks amazing. Of course, we already messed everything up. This is the one window we have, which is also quite nice. This is the bathroom, which is also amazing. It's quite tiny, but it's so pretty. And the shower is so cool. So, ooh, this is fucking weird. Ooh. So, yeah. Just in case you guys are wondering what I was wearing throughout the trip. On day one, I wore a brandy skirt and a brandy sweater, which I didn't really wear because it was way too hot. The top was from Urban Outfitters and I had my Birkenstocks. For our first lunch in Venice, Corby had local fish and I just had some pasta with vegetables. Now that I want to talk. Okay, so we are currently at the San Marco Square. I think that's what it's called in English. And this is the huge church, Basilica. I don't exactly know, to be honest. This is the place. I feel like the most crazy thing about it right now is that there's so little people here. Because usually this place is packed beyond. It's just apparently insane. I've been here the last time when I was 12, so I can't really remember. But I honestly wish we were at the beach. <laughs> Okay, so we just took a quick little nap and kind of refreshed and just like relaxed for a second because our feet were actually hurting quite bad from all the walking we've done already. We're gonna go have a small dinner because we actually ate a bit too much for lunch, so we're not that hungry. The lighting is amazing, it's so nice. Look at how pretty the streets are. For dinner this evening, we had some wine beforehand and then just had some antipasti and mixed salads because we were so full stem from our lunch. The second day was a little bit cooler, so I got to wear my new plot from Doc Martens, which I had to break in, so my feet were hurting a lot. But the rest of the outfit was all from Brandy. Good morning, it is day two, and we just had breakfast. We are thinking about going to Burano, and it's a 40 minute boat ride, so we're gonna do that now. Okay, so what I actually wanted to tell you guys in this clip, but it was way too loud to leave that in, is that everything in Venice happens by boat. And obviously they don't have like big streets, they only have big canals, so it only makes sense that they use boats a lot. But it's just so funny to see like the post boat delivering your post or a market stand on a boat. It's just, it was just so funny to me, so I just really wanted to show that to you guys. Okay, so we just landed in Burano and it's so cute. Kind of like Venice, it has those canals and like the bridges and stuff, but it's just a lot more chill, I feel like. Definitely a good choice so far. For our lunch in Burano, I just had some risotto with vegetables and Corby actually had spaghetti neri, which basically is just spaghetti with squid and it's actually cooked with the ink of the squid, which is why it's so black and it doesn't really taste that weird, it just looks really weird, but it was actually so fun to eat it.
So we just finished lunch and the sun has come out finally. We're so happy because now you can really see all the colors and it's just so pretty. And now we're actually way too hot. <laughs> But that's okay. <laughs> I think we have found the cutest Ellie in all of Burano. And we're having ice cream right now. This Loki is the cutest Ellie ever. Look at all the colors. We just arrived in Murano. Yeah, that's all I can say right now. The boat ride took us like 20 minutes and we had to stand, which is unfortunate because my feet are starting to hurt really badly, but that's okay. We're just gonna walk around here, maybe have a spritz and then probably head home, maybe change or relax before dinner and then go to dinner. And apparently the cutest thing or the best thing to do in Murano is just basically look at all the little statues in the window. So I'm gonna show you all the cute ones. These are the dwarves, these are tiny ones. Yeah, I'm gonna show you all the cute, cute ones because some of them are actually like tiny. They have like ants, tinier than a fingernail. It's insane. Krabby and a squid. Look, it's a tiny. Yeah, I think we just had a good look around Murano. We kind of got the gist of the whole place. I gotta say I prefer Murano just because it has a nicer flair. But the stores in here are actually really cool. And I bought two little figures that I'm going to show you later. On our second journey, we decided to get some vegetarian sandwiches and burgers along with some drinks. Okay, so we literally just left for dinner. We were walking and I felt like the first, I don't think you can really see me, but that's okay. And we felt like the first raindrops, like the, just like tiny, tiny raindrops. And we were like, okay, never mind, that's not a problem at all. And then we began to slowly walk down the promenade because we were thinking of where we could eat technically. And then literally within 10 seconds, it started to pour down. Like it was insane. There was so much rain. It was crazy. I'm gonna insert a clip now because I filmed it with my phone. And it was literally crazy. And we just ran over the bridge that we're walking on right now into a diner pub that we saw earlier that evening, which we just had dinner in, which was also amazing. It was so tasty, but we were literally running because it was insane. It started like that and it just went all on, like all of it. It was crazy. So yeah, now it's still raining, but there's like water everywhere, but it's not that bad now. We can just walk home at normal speed, but before it was insane. <laughs> 